the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Yeah. And that's why I said in Christianity, the, 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 he's trying to say, because I think that, that Samaritan represents Jesus. I put in the parable, I said, in this parable, the man appeared to have been a real person. Because he said a certain man, right? Just like Luke, Lazarus, and rich man. And I said, on a spiritual level, the seeds of Adam are spiritually dead and must be born again. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, that's what I'm saying is that they all of us made an image of God. I said in Genesis 6, 3, and the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for he is also flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years. So there is a separation between man and God identified all the way in, in uh, Genesis, back in Genesis. And then Jesus, in John 3, 3, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, a seven man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So you have to be born again to see the kingdom of God. So that man, being the fact that Jesus has not died at that point, right? He's telling them that this is what's going to have to happen to really make this thing work. You know, you're going to need me to make this thing work. Uh, so did you did you do a CIT for that? No, I, I didn't actually write a CIT. I okay. just did I did some studying on this and uh and was just amazed at what I found just <laughs> like like in our last uh study that there's just so much in this. Yes. You know, uh that I, I had not seen before. So, um, it, it just, it, it astonishes me that this guy knew, knew the answer mm -hmm. to this question. And, and yet, you know, try to, to, I don't know to catch Jesus in 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 some kind of form or fashion of not fulfilling the law or living by the law, and yeah, think, yeah. and uh, and then he finds himself being cornered. Exactly right. I like yeah. it. I, I, you know, I like how he can respond because he's saying this. I like the. I guess he. I like the way that he used the power to really make you think. Uh, about yourself, and I even got in this, this study the parable about the rich man, not the rich man, but the, the, the uh, I guess the, the uh, one of the Jews and the tax collector in the temple. Remember that one? Where the guy justified himself, saying, I thank you, God, I'm not like this. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's in this uh, it's in these slide deck that I sent to you. It's, it's, it's interesting how we want to be people become representatives of Christ or the God in the temple, but we're so quick to to to, to uh, judge them out of the of the. If you're not in agreement with them, judge them out. Well, they're the they're uh, they're to be Christ-like is to be God-like, and they're they're so. They're, they're so quick to reject. Yeah. And God is always trying to accept. Exactly. You know, so God's mercy endures forever, and yet they won't show mercy. No mercy. Right. But want mercy, though. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, no compassion for for people. Um, and yet expect compassion yeah yeah so it's 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 a selfish thing it's a fleshly thing and i think it's a deadly thing too because they they actually you know even with jesus right they wanted to stone him yeah 
they, they were, it was a point where how many times he had to be led away so they won't throw him off a cliff or they won't try to, you know, stone him. That's what I always saw. And, and then even the Jewish people, and I'm talking about bringing this up to the church today or the ministry today. But let's go back in the Old Testament with Jesus' time. How often were people pressured to do things so that they won't be kicked out of the synagogue? Do you remember that? How many threatened people? You know, like that, when that blind man was, they were made to able to see, and his parents didn't want to interfere with, uh, they want to be careful what they said so that they won't be put out of the church. Yeah. And, and how many times do we see that we turn, to me it's like, turn our faith as a weapon toward people. And that's what I'm concerned with. And I wanted, I wanted to, that's why I wanted to bring the, uh, the, the, the topic in. And Good Elder was the one that uh, recommended it. But it, it fits the scenarios. As we go forward, we really need to represent, understand that the neighbors are the people in this world. That we're supposed to go preach the gospel to. You know, even like, that's what I call it Christianity in action. Like, we do carols, you know, the carols ministry. You, we're going to people that are been considered rejected, right? Put away from society. And what do we do when we do that? We're doing those retreats in the, in the prison ministry. You see how we, everything we do is all about love, love, listen, listen. Yeah. Not, we're, not. We're, we're, we're basically doing the bait and switch. You <laughs> <laughs> we said, <laughs> bait and switch. Well, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> hey, Vincent, did you hear what he said? This is not the, but right, it's almost like you said, I'm gonna bring you in, and then all of a sudden, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this other person, right? Yeah. And, yeah, and, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna draw you in with all this this free time and woo. you know this 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 less structured you know few days and, and <laughs> treats and and stuff and then we gonna switch it and we give you price. <laughs> you see, I'm saying, I love that. That's true. And that, that's what the world sees when they look at us. So yeah. I, I was sitting there like here. I put in there the uh, the, the, the ex expounding a little bit more on that from what I was getting out of it I was doing my study. Uh, I said, you said we just read 30, leaving half dead. I said, they, meaning the people left for dead, unsaved, they are continuously attacked. And we know that many people that come in the gospel are attacked, right? We know we're in warfare, but the difference is we have weapons that give it to us if we use it, you know what I mean? So I put in there Matthew 11, 12, for from the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violence take it by force. And the fact is that we are talking about this, I, I felt the man that was attacked represents the spiritual condition Bishop, of, 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 the, of mankind. The spiritual condition of mankind, and and they are left for dead, you know. And and so I use the fact is that the enemy attacks the unbelievers, the people by the we said the other day last week by the wayside, people that don't believe, you know, they've been blinded by Satan, evil spirits, and left for eternal death because they are in unbelief. They are already condemned. And he said in verse uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 4, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, to shine on them. This guy was stripped. The stripping rain that reminded me of the righteousness of man. I should have put air, I put R, sorry. As stripped rain. 
And then I put the answer script out there, 64, 64 verse 6. But we are all as unclean things, and all our righteousness is filthy rags, and we all do fade as at least and our iniquities like the wind taken oh, you know, us away. That's how I look at us, and that's how I look at that man that was attacked. So that Christian with the whole person, I wanted to dissect the, uh, that problem. So that's why I'm focused on the man that was attacked, right? Fell among thieves, certain man. I said that certain man is spirit condition of all mankind. There was attacked and fell among thieves. That, you see what I'm saying? It, uh, that represents mankind. So we are talking about spiritual truth when we talk about the time. You know what I mean? So that, that's how I was looking at that man that was attacked first. He represents the spiritual condition of people who have not even received Christ. I ain't even talking about the fact, I guess next time we need to focus on the people who have received Christ, right? But let's talk about the, the, the what, do you, what do you see, Brother Isaac, for the man that was attacked? How do you, you know, they, they didn't get too much about him, but that's how I look at it from a spiritual condition. Um. I, I, <laughs> All I just know is that this, this man was at the wrong place at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm y'all. <young. laughs> and uh and life happened, but I I I, I the man that was attacked just in, from this parable, yeah, and I, I, uh, I really can't say much about him, but that that even at his lowest point, there was somebody moved to to, to help him, right, and 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 to care for him, okay. you know, uh, you know, and and. I can only go by what, what, what Jesus was saying in this parable. You know, you have one person that didn't even even acknowledge it. You know, he just it, it was like he was uh, uh, a, a barrier that, that didn't even exist that he just needed to go around. Right. You know, uh, and then you had another one that basically I guess noticed him <laughs> what, what does it say it said he uh well, you want to go past that but I, you know, he, he looked he looked on him yeah now you want to go, so, go past that but you know, I think it's important to I agree with you we're gonna go to those guys I mean we're gonna get to those people but the spiritual condition is that the reason I was looking at it, you know, take it to a, uh, a, a spiritual level. So and you're you're asking the spiritual condition of the man? Does it represent who, the spiritual condition of man? Really? Yeah. If you're not born again. You see what I'm saying? is because he, he, he's, he's bringing a point in, right? We try to get, we try to, he bring it a point. Why did he use this scenario, this parable? But you know, we got to, he answered the parable, but so why he use this setting of that parable? What does this man represent is what I'm trying to say. And I'm saying is that he represents the spiritual condition of man. Are we, are we, have we, do, is there not a, a, a attack against those who don't believe are they are they if they're not born again are they they already condemned correct that's in john right 16 through 18 or 20. i'm just saying he had to, he gave you a focal point because 
in the end, you know, the parable gonna say is that was your neighbor. The question was, who is your neighbor? No, the good Samaritan was the neighbor, not the man who was attacked. The, well, he said, who was his neighbor? He was using that parable to say, what? Who is your neighbor? The one yeah, who, but the neighbor wasn't the man that was attacked. But that—that's what was it? Not his neighbor. The man that was attacked was a man that was attacked. The I Samaritan guess. was the neighbor. Of who? Of the man that was attacked. Attacked. And that's my whole point, right? So the point is, what is the condition spiritually of that man who was attacked, right? That's what I'm just trying to point out. That that represents the spiritual condition of this world to me of all of us, right? I mean, that's why he told you to go preach the gospel, right? That's yeah. the that represents go preach the gospel. Well, it, you know, if 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 I'm going to look in, it, in, in that manner, then, you know, Jesus talked about he didn't come for those who were whole. Oh, righteous, right? Right. He came to those who needed a physician. Exactly. Who, who needed help. Come That's on what now. we came for. Come on now. <laughs> so, right. You know, and uh, and when you look at this parable, you see why. Exactly. Right. Right. And, and that's what I'm saying is when you take it from a spiritual perspective, it's the same thing. It's like when we see the, 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 the we need to go out there and preach this gospel because that's the condition of the world spiritually right yeah dead. and and he, he said is that because i think the samaritan is a representation of christ so in our original parable yeah so what ground are these people i call it say the wayside this, so, this, so, this is an unbelief. so the 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 priest is the wayside. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying the man, the, the the man that was spiritually beaten and attacked was the wayside. I say he was good ground. <laughs> he said he was good. Well, I wouldn't say he was not good ground as far as him being. A, he received right. He received the help, right? <laughs> yeah. He, he didn't reject it. Now, in that case, he received it. <laughs> But I'm going to say is he needed help, right? <laughs> yeah. Bishop, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm listening. He's good. Who's good ground? <laughs> he, said, he said the man back. He said the man that was attacked was good ground. Okay. And I said the wayside. I said he's the man by the wayside. He represents the wayside. <laughs> but he can't receive his help. But, he yeah. started off though he was the one by the wayside <laughs> the man is the man who's attacked is in trouble <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he kept saying uh but as a he's spiritual condition that's what i'm saying look at it look at another level right to the spiritual level not from the take it take away the cardinal level from him why was he selected he selected as a representative of unbelief Spiritually attacked, left by dead by the devil. You know what I mean? That's how say does it, right? He 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 comes after people. He come after. He goes after. Now he does. I agree with you. We should talk about those uh, other grounds. I think that's a real good point when we talk about the. Other I'm thinking grounds. that the Samaritan was more like a sower. Yeah, he's yeah. He represents Christ. Yes. So. Yeah. But it's important for us to remember the, the uh, every piece of that pearl was important is what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so the point is that when we look at people that, that have a spiritual condition of the deficit or lack of or unbelief, how do we look at them and then they, it goes back to the original question who is my neighbor do we have we lost track of the fact is that 
the neighbor is the world that we're supposed to go preach to. And they are, just like you're going to say, when we go read the rest of the scriptures about how the Levites saw them and how the priests saw them. And Christ is using the contrast in that parable of what you're supposed to do dealing with person out in that, you know, the spiritual condition. That's how I was looking at that. That's what I said is, I, it's very important to look at the, the, uh, the person that was attacked first. Because you, you're not going to, you, you ha- he put it there for a reason, you know? So so then when I put down in the next scriptures here, because I think we got to watch out for it, uh, like you, was, you wanted to get to is verse 31, and by chance there came down a certain priest that way. He looked busy. He was thinking that little way. Look, you can see it alluding to the wayside. He was there. That way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. You know, it's in that parable. You got the wayside in there. You see, you see that, brother? Asa? The words are separated, but it's basically the wayside. Yeah. He went that way and passed by on the other side. He said, I don't like that side. <laughs> and then he likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came, looked on him, and passed by once again on the other side. He, he at least took time to look at him, though. <laughs> but the question is, how often do we and that's why it's important that talking about as, as Christians is we don't do what these people just did. We look at somebody or we avoid people that we consider undesirable. And yet that's what he said us to do because at one time you were one of the undesirables. At least I can say Bishop was. <laughs> he, he, he gave a testimony. He was, he was a he was a heathen. You know, what and, was, and, was, huh? <laughs> right. You know, in, in my mind, I, I don't see myself being the one that uh, was left half dead. You know, yeah. I see myself as being, in, in my past, the one who looks upon somebody who needing help and, and going on. Really? Um, you, you don't see yourself as on the wayside. Were you on the wayside? Were you unbelief? I, I don't. I... <laughs> you were. <laughs> you said. I said I don't. I don't picture. I didn't picture myself when I look in this parable uh-huh. as being the man left half dead. I tell them, that means spiritual dead, right? Physically, yeah. that's how spiritually dead. Were you ever spiritually dead? Yes. Yeah. So you was on the wayside. You was, you was, you was, you were on the wayside, brother. Like I, I, under, I understand that. It's to me, it's like you're you're mixing two different things in my mind. I'm well, just I, maybe I'm not you grasping can, how you're 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 picturing this. The world is by the wayside. It's, it's, it's the point, right? Everybody was left spiritually dead. Marvel not, you must be born again. So who went to the wayside? <laughs> the, who went to the means with me? The person, all of us born into this world from the seed of Adam. I, but, the wayside. Okay, I'm gonna I'm be quiet because I'm I'm confused. Who's, who's, who's spiritually dead? Who's who, spiritually who's, dead? Yeah. If you're not born again, you're spiritually dead, right? Yeah. And you 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 condemn already, right? Yeah. Come up before before you received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, uh-huh. you were on the you was on the wayside. You was in unbelief. You were condemned already. You were going to hell. Yeah. So yeah. Right? And that's what I'm trying to say is that the when I, when I said that. that 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 man represents people that were on the wayside 
in trouble, wounded, left for dead. And in the gospel was Christ said, I came to not save the righteous, but the unrighteous. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. And then we got to watch out. What he's trying to say in that parable to me is don't, that's not your calling to, to go uh, you know, away from them, but to minister the gospel to them. It's, it's the whole point. He's trying to say your neighbor is somebody in a spiritual condition that you may not appreciate. And I'm just saying is that there's some, and I think you agree, if you take uh, some of the people that were in the church, full of faith, full of, you know, the gospel, if they looked at you when you were not saved, how would they, how would you think they saw? They saw a heathen, didn't they? I don't know what they saw. You are, we're, 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 <laughs> okay, that's good. Maybe I don't, because I mean, I, from uh, experience, I've seen people that, that I've been around and I was like, there's no way this person is going to be saved. This was, this was yeah, yeah. based on just my observation. And then oh. these, per these people end up being on fire for Christ. I don't know it, right. Okay, so... But the view was they was they they were they almost a lost, right? <laughs> it it all depends on the, the, the person. I, it it all depends on who you are. Like I said, do you see yourself as being a priest or a Levite or a Samaritan or the man that was going from Jerusalem to Jericho? I, I would, yeah, I would submit that. Do we see ourselves as, as, as do I see ourselves in any and all of those those roles at one point or another? Yeah, and that's that's what I was was alluding to. Yeah, you know, I uh, as far as me in relationship to this good Samaritan, I mean, to this this man that was leaving, going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Yeah. Now, obviously, if, if I'm that man that was leaving from Jerusalem going to Jericho, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know, I, I've been that man. <laughs> yeah in the body of christ yeah oh yeah now that's great now don't. so to say that you know that these people are outside the body and need help i need help now <laughs> that, that's true too and unfortunately that's, so, a, that's, that, that's why I'm, I'm so confused okay you say it is he fits all of them well i fit them all <laughs> <laughs> I, I I have. Okay. And and even, you know, I look up on these people who have actually weaponized this parable as a as a uh, a way of living. Mm, yeah. There's there's people who who don't need to beg, who don't need to be, you know, sitting on the side looking like life has just ran them over they do that on purpose <laughs> to get money i mean it, it, it's it's a serious thing it's for me because Ooh. when i pass these people by this parable always come to mind hmm. you know uh with these signs held up you know i'm a veteran need help we'll take anything uh -huh you know and, and and have a bucket for money and then you offer them some food and then they just throw the food in the trash or, <laughs> or, or i'm good or whatever you yeah. know I, i've run across all different kinds right over, over my life i mean i've taken a guy into to to the uh fast food restaurant and asked him what he wanted to eat and he just stared at me 
<laughs> and I just bought him some food and he just threw it in the trash. Oh, no. He wanted money. <laughs> so he could go across the street and get some some liquor. I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've had people in other countries, right. you know, basically cuss me out in their language because <laughs> I wouldn't give them money. I was trying to give them the food. Right. Right. I know. And, 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 so, and but you didn't. <laughs> Go ahead. So it's like you, you want to help, and then you look at this parable. The Good Samaritan didn't give that man a dime. <laughs> he, he, he cleaned him up, he dressed his wounds, put him in. And, Put him in a place and fed him and said, if he needs anything, give it to him. Uh -huh. Not no money. <laughs> <laughs> feed him, let him rest or whatever. And I'll come back and pay for it. And right. so that's what, where I, I'm, I'm saying when I see these people who look like they're like they, they're on their way to Jericho from Jerusalem and got <laughs> And, and life has busted them up to where they're half dead. Uh -huh.